Alright, so Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. Got a battle on the Karelia map. We've got Klusner in the Poodle. This is the um, Polish version of the Panther, the captured version. And it's a premium at um, tier 6. It's a pretty handy tank, but it has all the sort of pros and cons of the Panther. Um, yeah, it's a uh, premium tank. Yeah, you can put your Polish medium tank crews in. Alright, just missed a couple of targets there, but that's not going to end for his gameplay, I don't think. Anyway, got a few tanks in the middle. No outline there. So he holds his shot. There's plenty of ammunition though, you can see, yeah, roughly 40 shots of standard and 35 of the premium shells, so it's kind of a hard time running out of ammo, but you can see a fairly fast rate of fire here. And I think this is the 75mm gun if I'm not mistaken. Yes it is, so standard 10, 150 with 135 average damage and it gets stuck to 190 with premium rounds, but um, Shouldn't need to use them in this game because it's top tier, it's a tier 6 to tier 5 game. And moving slowly at the moment, they've lost one of their tanks, the light tank, the ELC, but uh, got quite a few others actually. There's four light tanks on each side, so. It's going to be interesting in terms of spotting. And their Chaffee's taking a lot of hits and in fact gets taken out by TD. So the TD I suggest is in the middle somewhere. Alright, snaps another shot into the Leopard there. You can see two damaging shots and he's only got 250 hit points of damage. Snaps a shot towards the um, Panzer 4H on the hill and just dodges the incoming round, it was a bit slow, you can almost see it coming through the air there, so not too difficult from that range. Yeah, he's created a nice little nest for himself here with the knockdown trees, but this is quite a useful spot on this flank. Um, you've got a bit of protection from the hill with the bushes and you've got a reasonable view across the the uh, top of the map here, and you can exit off the back here quite easily and get protection from these rocks from the side, so that's exactly what Clusion is doing. It's just waiting for that Sherman to basically push up a little further. so far so all the targets have just disappeared that's uh, interesting needs the light tanks to basically move around a bit more they've sort of given up the middle and that's interesting so okay it's and finally gets hit by the panzer 4h and bounces an incoming shell from the ac4 experimental that uh, must be up on the hill as well that's okay it's still got plenty of hit points is somewhat a spot with the Panzer 4H, so he decides to basically do that himself, move a little closer. That KV-2 is on the other side of the hill, so not really a target he can do much about from here. Oh, and he's the enemy ELC now, unfortunately. He doesn't get his shot in there, but he does pick up this is the damage from spotting. And he just dives into the rock here to go dark, and they might get a shot on this Hellcat now. Oh, the Hellcat's losing health as well. So the enemy team, well, in fact, both teams are losing hit points at a fairly much the same rate. And they lose another of their light tanks. And in fact, they've lost all of their light tanks now. So that makes them a little bit blind, particularly in the middle here where they've got no coverage whatsoever. The Hellcat might be able to help with Inox perhaps. 
and he's just asking for his team to keep an eye out. So potentially the enemy will realise they've got a bit of an advantage here and move their way up. Okay, he's found the Panzer 4H and starts to punish him. And he's going away in a straight line, which just helps Klusner <laughs> to keep shooting him. And he might get the kill in two shots here. It's a blind shot in, maybe one more blind shot. And he gets the kill. There you go. The enemy didn't move that far. So, first kill there to Klusner. And again, just the very low offer of this gun, you just don't accumulate da damage at a decent rate. So, just have to keep plugging away. In fact, he's still got more assisted damage than he's got actual damage, but not for want of shooting. And there's the VK. What is he behind? Well, it doesn't matter. The Nashon takes him out. So that's pretty handy. Does the Hellcat get punished at all? Was he lit? Alright, so it looks like what was in the centre, which we do expect. Oh, I've got the Hellcat on one side there. T1 Heavy, who's really not doing a whole lot. Being bottom tier Heavy Tank, he's probably not feeling quite secure. So, Klusner starting to make a move to cover the middle, I would think. Can he spot the Hellcat? Can he get any more vision? Right, there's the uh, TD and the RKB, in effect. He's lit the Hellcat and oh, KB2. Not shotable. No, it didn't penetrate. We might not get another shot on him. No, just a bit too far. The reticle a bit too big. But uh, can he punish that RKB? That's what it'd be his main game would be here. But he doesn't really want to get lit, particularly while that KB2 might be around. to spot that RKV, which is going to be difficult if he's got camo net and he's not firing. Oh, there's oh, we've got another TD there, that's an Achilles, tier 5. He's just got the edge of him, so he goes double pushed here, which is a great idea. Puts shot into him, but he backs away and he gets spotted there, so what's he being spotted by? Possibly the RKV. Although again, there is a chappy around. Bounces the round from the chaffy. That definitely is there. And that's probably well, more than likely what lit him up. Anyway, it's gone dark again. So can he spot either the chaffy or the Achilles again? The Achilles is very close. Oh, in fact, there's the chaffy. You might be able to punish him as he goes through the swamp. No, unfortunately, it just doesn't lead quite enough. But uh, it's okay. He might get another shot. KV2 again. Can get a shot in? Yes he does. Oh, it takes him down to 29 hit points. The KV2 getting behind cover. And there's the Achilles facing another direction. Puts another punishing shot in before he gets behind the rock. Oh, he's just got an outline there and he can punish him again. So maybe one more shot. Uh, does some tracking damage but um, doesn't uh, give him any more fruit there, but that's taken to 1100 damage, which is uh, getting there, and he's also got almost the same amount of assisted damage here, so nicely balanced game in that context. And Klusner just being patient, the targets will come out, the, you can see the enemy's basically got a whole line across the map there, there's the KV-2 again, oh he's behind a rock, just missing out on there, and he switched to his premium rats here. Oh, and the Hellcat gets spotted and taken out by the Nashon. So the Nashon doing pretty well there in terms of shooting. And he's just looking out for that cave too. He may be poked out already, so again, might be worth a blind shot. T3485 offering to scout. That's nice of him, but he's gone down the uh, other side of the map, so it's not going to help close it. Now the only tank on from his team on this side of the map. 
There's the AC4 experimental, so it gets hit but no shot. Oh, and it's lit again, but can he tempt these other tanks to come out and try and shoot him? No, the, uh, there's the Achilles, yes, he can get a shot in him, and he gets the kill, so that's nice. Takes out a dangerous, possible dangerous one. And the RKV's gone dark again, the Chappie's out there somewhere. And it looks like the T-3485 putting some damage into the tanks on the other side there, although they're both pretty low in hit points. Kaluzna wisely deciding not to venture out in the middle. And you can see that the T-1 Heavy's poked up on the side there, so there's an opportunity to get some more damage, both assisted and real. I want to be spotted by the T1 Heavy at the same time, that's going to be critical because there'll still be shots coming from the hill potentially. So it's just testing to see whether it gets spotted here. So far nothing. And then backs into the bush nest that he's created to be able to exit quickly of course, or he's only in a medium tank, not in a... Oh, oh there's the IKB. IKB knows he's spotted. It's a shot into him. And he goes behind cover. Can the arty splash him? I hope so, but uh, he'll go dark shortly and the arty won't have much of a target. Alright, so now he's basically saying, alright, let's get out of line of sight from the hill. If you get spotted over here, they're not going to be able to shoot him from that distance. He'll be out of render range, so I'll find it hard to target him. There's the chappy, or one shot. Yes, he's down to 12 hit points. He lines him up, gets the kill. So three kills now to two clues now. He's starting to clean up. There's only three vehicles there, they're all on low hit points. Total 452 between the three of them, so chance to get a few more kill shots here. on the other side of the map, so he's going to basically come around the other side and do a bit of flanking. Oh, there's the A4 Experimental. Yes, in fact he's uh, on the other side of the hill there, so he's coming back this direction. Clueson can come and pick him up from near the cap area side. And now everyone's flooding down, trying to just take out the uh, remainder there. So in fact 319 hit points down between the three enemy tanks. Clueson taking the high ground up here. He can camp out if he needs to, because there are three tanks to kill. Potentially get rid of this uh, A4 experimental. He's still got his premium rounds loaded, so that's two shots there to kill that tank. And it doesn't look like anyone's going to be shooting back at him, so just waiting for him to come out in the open again. And Klusner making a brave decision here. Less than two minutes to go, they've grown well, fact. The other two tanks have been taken out, so that explains that. He wasn't paying attention, now he just has to clean up this A4 experimental. So, he should get one shot in here. No, that doesn't even hit. Uh, the A4 has just gone into cover, but that's not going to save him. Because he's got plenty of hit points, he can afford to trade right now. So, puts one shot in, and he'll come around to get the kill shot. And takes the incoming shot in his gun. And that is the game. It's a very patient build up there. Okay, he did have some blind shots there, so he ended up with 2.1k of damage, but also another 1.8k of assisted damage there, so that's um, 3.9k of combined damage, which is quite nice at that tier. Uh, four kills, of course, and <laughs> due to the lack of of uh, light tanks, <laughs> he's earned the patrol duty medal as well. So that's uh, all combined to earn a nice tanker badge. So let's have a look at the team score. So he's finished on top with a base experience of 1439, that's nice, and uh, led the damage total as well. And yeah, double the um, 
experience of the other tanks and that a lot of that's down to the um, spotting damage as well the enemy side the kv2 actually ended up with the high caliber award i would say and nearly 3k so good uh, work there by prinko piglet right, interesting name uh, but the rest of the team not doing so well the only other standout was the achilles who got over it 1100 damage which is uh, not bad for a tier 5 so nice bit of work but obviously with other people spotting so very little exp but then it's the breaks in a in a loss so he's ended up firing 29 shots 20 hits and 18 penetrations so good uh, choice of ammunition for the hits but you can see the gun not that accurate so the um not sure what the poles have done much to <laughs> german 75 but um you would think it'd be a bit more accurate than it really was but um Nonetheless, uh, let's have a look at the tier six economics here. So he had um, personal reserves running and battle payments from the clan. So that gave him a decent amount of income. Expenses, very little, because he only really took one or two shots of damage in the end. So his repair costs very minor and his ammunition costs only 43K. So a decent profit there, 84K, which is uh, very nice for that tier. But if you took out the additional payments he got from personal reserves running, so what's that, 50, 6k so yeah it might have been about 24k of profit in the end but that's all right for for that tier anyway nice game there from Klusner. just shows you the basically the payoff for being patient not exposing yourself too much particularly at the start um, and just accumulating damage through the game um, but taking opportunities that, as they come up that's uh, you know a decent recipe for success so will pay off most of the time yeah you won't win every game but um, you'll get some good games out of that. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that or learned something from it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.